Hello. What's up, live forever, never? <laughs> Dude, I know I'm. I know it's supposed to live forever and ever, but forever and ever just just sounds right to me. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Um. So today, um, we'll be continuing our Knights of the Nine Revelations uh, playthrough, which we got. Like, I feel like we barely scratched the surface with this. Thank you for uploading to YouTube. Yeah, man. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate uh, the support. You gave me the idea. Um, and it was a good one. And it was something that I always kind of had in the back of my head, but... I just... I was dealing with, you know... Once I got to this new place that I met, like... I was just so focused on the internet side of it that I just wasn't... I just kind of forgot about that. Um, but you saying what you said a couple weeks ago really got me to thinking. And uh, I'm glad that I did it too because it's... It's given people the option to to check out the VODs and it's smooth and it's good good to watch and and I hope, you know, I know that they're like four or five hours long. So uh, but if people are watching, then that's all that really matters, I suppose. What's up, Davidian Ross? Rainer, you sexy beast. So <laughs> what's up, dude? How are the Minotaurs and the Lizardmen? Are they still are we still liking them, or are they just, you know, on the outs with Davidian Ross? Has Davidian Ross rejected the Minotaurs and the and the Lizardmen? Has it? Can it be? Can it be so? Um, but yeah, man. Anyway, um, last week when we played this, uh, we just started, um. You know, we, we did, like, several... Th there was... I feel like we've barely scratched the surface with this DLC-sized mod. And... Last time... We got... we th This dude came to us and was like, Oh, I'm part of the... Heard you were part of the Knights of the Nine, and da 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 And then... It's like, oh, yeah, you know, the Crusader Relics. Uh, you know, we could get the full power of the whatever and then he had like this para paralysis spell that he used and he used it against us when we had everything put together all the things we need to get and then he was he had this big castle we went in there we stormed the castle and he was opening some kind of portal we got thrown into the portal and now we are three eras into the past we are currently not in kansas anymore or as i'd like to say cyrodiil in this case uh, we are in first era sarad um let me check the the map first era sarad uh first era 243 so, needless to say, uh, yeah, we, we in Sarad now. So that's exciting. Next stream, I'm going into Dagger Wound. I'm killing all the damn lizard men with my dragons. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Davidian goes full aggro on the lizard men. Back in Revelations, we're going to see Palen. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we're about to uh, talk to uh, a min the Minotaur friend. Yeah, we were just about to do that, so let's get into it. And the Slave Queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we just... They gave us this little... This little chest. 
And we're ro you know we're rocking the Aliad stuff, bro. You know we're rocking it. Gotta gotta fit into the times. Although the Aliad are currently our enemy, so I might wanna maybe switch it up. You know, get some Elysian gear or something. But I kind of dig the look, so. Um, so it's like us, yeah, it's me and this chick named Ni Naomi who's supposedly like the last heir of the Aliads or the last heir of, or no, the last cl the last heir of, of Queen Alicia or something like that. So, um, we're just gonna... I'm a Daedra worshiping elf. <laughs> you got it. All right, so we're gonna the quest. Uh, I should search the debris field to see if anything else was sucked into Garrus portal. Uh, the slave queen is probably what we're doing here. Yeah. I found Naomi, Fennec Haskell. She was catapulted 4,000 years into the past like I was when Gareth's portal imploded. Says that I should talk to Alessia, Millennial, and Mori House. So that's what we're going to go do right now. That's what we're going to do right now. Yeah, I need to get me some of this armor, I guess. The shiny... The shiny armor. So that's Mora House right there. But we're gonna talk to this this person. Elesh. Welcome, Crusader. I have long foreseen your arrival here today, and sense that you have an important role in events to come. Hundred percent. Um I freed some slaves. The Aliads have enslaved our kind for too long. We are freeing slaves across Sirod, and they in turn are bolstering our numbers. For every slave that you free, we will pay you a reward of 200 gold. Okay. For freeing the slaves, you have all I already did all that. As promised, here is your reward. That's 1600, baby. 1600. Yes. As a slave, I pray to the Adra for liberation from the Adra. My prayers were answered in the form of three visions of things to come. The third vision was a harbinger. Helenul's arrival. Harbinger. Harbinger is how you should pronounce that. has long perplexed me. For in the vision, Helenul's every action was shadowed by a mortal clad in the same armor. Something I thought impossible. This is a good voice actor, though. With your rediscovery of Helenul's artifacts in a future era, and your arrival here today. My understanding of the third vision is now complete. Okay, that's cool. For every... S I sense that you will play an important role in future events. But before you can, you must restore that which grants you powers from the eight. Only by recovering, repairing, and then re-consecrating the artifacts that you call the Crusader's relics can you hope to succeed. Let's do this. Uh, 4,000 years in the feudal ages? Yeah. No kidding. I see that you have not yet recovered all the Crusader's relics. It is imperative that you do. Go oh, now. shit. And return to me once you have accomplished this task. All right. You got it, buddy. Let's talk to the, let's talk to the Minotaur. Let's talk to Mori House. Greetings, Lord Crusader. I've heard much about you from your friend, Naomi. It is both an honor and a marvel to receive a visitor from another era. He looks a little scared, a little spooked. He also sounds like he's whispering everything he's saying. But it's okay. Pelinol's armor and weapons were given to him by the gods. Repairing them is possible but may be difficult. Once you have recovered all eight pieces, come and speak to us 
and we'll try to figure out a way to restore them. See, Davidian, if you did this in your mod, if you wanted to have minotaurs in your mod, I wouldn't, I would be fine with that. Mouths don't have to move for me to have my, uh, <laughs> uh, my, what's the word, like, when you, uh, have your reality, you know, I can, I can, oh, suspend my disbelief. What a revelation. I'm saying. I am Morehouse, the first breath of man. I was granted the Nordic powers of Thum by Kynoreth. The Thum? And sent here to aid in the liberation of humanity. Yo, he's got the Thum? He has the voice, bro? I, I wanna... House, he he pronounced Kynoreth weird. I was granted the Nordic powers of Thum by Kynoreth. Why did he pronounce it that way? Of humanity. It's fine. She is known by many names. She was named Alesh by her followers, and this led to the more familiar corruptions Alashut, Esha, and Alessia. Another title was Paravant, meaning first of its kind. From that, the names Paraval, Pevish, Parathu, and Parif were derived. But as her lover and Oh, she, he got gravelly again. As Paravanya, First Empress, Lady of Heaven, and Queen Utsirod. Farewell, Lord Crusader. That's cool. I would have gone a different direction with the voice, but it's all good, man. People make choices, you know. Yo, it's my boy. Hmm. Helena. So you're the one they call it me. The it me, bro. Years from now. I did the thing that you couldn't do, bro. Oh my god, it's Palenol. <laughs> it's Palenol, you guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. What's up, dude? I. So I did the thing the that you couldn't do. I killed the guy. Years from now, right? I killed the guy. That's me. He yeah. Dug my armor out of the ground it's me. And then fought in a dream. Yeah, you have everything that, that I need, basically. Yes, it does. Book. Yes, it does, though. I did the thing you couldn't do. So what's the problem? She is known as the Slave Queen. For she rose above her humble roots as a slave to lead the rebellion that would overthrow the Okay, Indian whatever Empire. this voice actor has, whatever Never equipment he has, have I met a is perfect. Displayed such wisdom, or was so he has perfect equipment for this. Gods. She has forged alliances with the rebel Aeliad kings, the Needs. The Bretons. The needs, bro. Even the gods themselves. The needs are the Nords, by the way, you guys. With also, broken string of victories against oh, the elves, Let's get some story the in here. The fall of the Tower of White Gold is only a matter of time. Okay. You don't even have the full set of my armor and weapons. How do you hope to repair what you don't have? You're wearing it right now, so I could, like, you know, do that. Hmm. He's a little angry. I think he's jealous. I think he's just jealous, you guys. Um, let me go ahead and, uh, while we're all here, I want to give a shout out to my man, Fate. I want to give a shout out to my man, Davidian Ross. I appreciate you guys being here. I apologize for the issue earlier. Um, my computer just decided that it didn't want to. And apparently the internet, I don't know why it's acting the way it's acting, but I'm getting a lot of drop frames, so that's always fun. <laughs> How does it look on your guys' side? Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity.
anyway. Alright. Back to the game. Okay, so we talked to everybody around here. Alessia has welcomed me to Sarad, saying that she had me had seen me in one of her visions. She will have a excuse me, she will have a task for me once I've spoken to Pelinol and restored the Crusaders relics. Okay. Yeah. I don't yeah, I don't have a socials command. Because I don't really have that many social things. It's YouTube and that's pretty much it. So well, YouTube and Discord. This looks pretty cool. I really like how they did this mod where they basically just made the Aliad ruins look good. No. Hey. Oh, he opens it. That's cool. That's pretty dope. Whoa. Lord Crusader, are you heading off? Perhaps. So they know of a way to repair them? That's great. Queen Alicia, I've See some chopping. Yeah, I, I don't know why that so, is. I'll be here in Fanica Sekul if you need anything. It was at we were at twenty percent before. Yes, the Adabel, meaning Godstone in the Aelid language. They are Aelid soul gems of great power. So you see the red diamond that Queen Alicia is wearing around her neck? That's actually Chimel Adabel, the godstone that eventually became the Amulet of Kings, oh. as worn by Uriel Septim. It turns out that there's two others just like it, and I've been given the chance to study them. All right. See you. I just wanted to see. I wanted to see the the. Oh, she's got the the Amulet of Kings on at the moment. That's cool. All right. So. We've got a couple things to do. Search the debris field to see if anything else was sucked into Garrus portal. The debris field. Where is that? Doesn't even say where that is. The debris field. Um... But that's kind of what I have to do. But it seems like this... This uh, mod has kind of... When you don't know where to go... It sort of leads you in the right direction. You know, if it doesn't tell you outright what you're supposed to do... It does all that for you. You know, it'll put you in the right place. I need to not go this way. I need to go this way. We need to leave this place. Why do I not have a weapon on? There we go. Alright. So I don't really know where the debris field is. Um, okay. Yeah. Whoops. So, like... I'm not sure where I need to go next. Little confused, not gonna lie. Okay, she will have a task for me once I have spoken to Palant. Okay, we spoke to him. Search the debris field. 
And there's no marker, so I wonder... Was there something that one of them said that was like, the debris field is this way? We're gonna go back and try to find that out. Before I move too, too far away here. Um, where is you? You. What can I do for you? I've heard of such time portals, but thought they were impossible to create. But so were oblivion gates. Right. Creating them requires an elder scroll. Right, and we got that. Yeah. Uh huh. The gods during the destination time period. Since these priceless artifacts are destroyed in the process, few would dare experiment with such magic. With eight first era divine artifacts in one spot, it's no wonder Gareth wanted the Crusaders' relics. Adabal. Yes, the Adabal, meaning Adabal in the Aelid language. <laughs> they are Aelid soul gems of great power. You see the red diamond? Right. It's actually Chimel Adabal, the godstone that eventually became the Amulet of Kings, as worn by Uriel Septim. It turns out that there's two others just like it. Right, okay. See you. Bye. Bye bye. I heard that you're from the future. Is that true? Do we win the war? No. Can't say. Um. Hmm. Was there something? Maybe I missed something in the dialogue here with. Greetings, Lord. Yeah, uh huh. Armor and weapons Pairing them. Kids. Okay, once you've recovered all the eight, if they try to figure out Absolutely. a way to restore them. Yeah. Okay. Does she tell me something? Have you no, I haven't, because I don't know where I need to go. I sense that you will play an important role in Right, future. okay. Only by recovering, repairing. Uh-huh, okay. I see that you have not yet recovered. Yeah. Once you have recovered them, go now. And return to me once you have a comp. Not helpful. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, what do you do with that, right? Well met. Can't do much with that. So we'll just uh, explore, I guess. We'll just explore and hope for the best. Kind of meander around and see if we can't find something. Um, where's the road? Where'd that road be, though? Ah, right there. Okay, cool. Um, the debris field. The only... Okay, I guess I could start by going back to where I started. Uh, but this wasn't really debris filled. No, oh, it's you. Hello. Goodbye, sir. Okay, well, that wasn't as helpful as I was hoping it would be. Some bunny rabbits. Hmm. The other place, I guess, would be Vin Vindicel, which is where we started this whole thing. Let me look it up real quick. Um, Cause I know there's like a guide, Knights of the Nine, 
Revelation walkthrough. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. That's a review. Let's see. What's this? Let's see this. Uh, that's not helpful. I thought... I'm gonna just minimize this for now. Um, whoops. Let's bring this over here. Um, give me one second, you guys. Let me just try to find this. There was a, a read me. Yeah, dude. And it's like legit. Um, let's see. This is installation, but. Uh. I thought it had like a guide of sorts. Maybe it doesn't. There's a map. Um. All right, whatever. Well, that didn't help me at all. All good. <laughs> um. Knights of the Nine. What's the part of the quest that we're in currently? Recovering the Crusader's Relics. All right. Anyway. We'll just, uh, we'll have to explore, I guess. I don't know what else to do. I am going to wait for, uh, daytime, though. So I'm going to just wait 12 hours. It is morning. Hooray. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsies. He kind of fucked up. Yeah, I don't really know what it wants me to do. It didn't say like, oh, you know, maybe you should start in this area or anything like that. So I guess we'll just keep going down the road, maybe, and see what that does.
What I'm most interested in is like if we can go like over here to like because this well this is I guess this would be around where um skin grad is I guess you can't really go to any other areas other than where Cyrodiil is Never mind then. Never mind. What? Where? Who wants who wants to fight? Who wants to fight? Oh. Dude, mountain lions everywhere. The mountain lions be out here. I'm really, I wish it would have given me a, a The debris field. I don't know where that is. Where'd that be? Sorry for this awesome layer. Here, here's a view of Cyrodiil. Of the white gold tower. My bad. Was there a piece? Okay. Oh, dude, I totally passed by this. Dumb. I found the Curus Crusader amongst the debris from the castle basement. Though it is virtually destroyed, somehow I can sense that the other pieces of the Crusader relics are not around here. I'll try to gather them all. Okay. I guess I didn't realize this was the debris field. But I guess I should have been a little bit more... Um... Should have paid more attention, I guess. They said the the curious was basically destroyed, so it's probably just like a piece of useless junk. Residual enchantment. Okay. All right, we're we're on the right path at least. We found the curious. Maybe in the ocean here. Ovidius is having a little swim. Oh, I just realized that there's little markers for each piece. So... Uh, which is kind of nice. I can appreciate that. Ah, here we are. The sword. Okay. Alright, guys. We're making progress. Hooray. <laughs> so this place is just like spread out. See which one? This one seems like it might be closest. Oh my. Oh no! Oh, I like bumped it and now it's gone. Oh. 
Okay, gauntlets. We got the gauntlets. Yo, it's Kurtz in the building. Kurtz is in the building. Hi, Kurtz. I think we fixed all of my problems. Or whatever, I don't know. Found that relic, yay. What's up? We had a rough start to the stream today. But we're here now. Hopefully without issue. You know, it's just life is the way life is. You know, you fix one issue and then another arises and it's... It's just how it is. Just how it be. That's all good. I've recovered all of the Crusader relics, though they are damaged beyond practical use. Perhaps there's a way to restore them. Okay, cool. So now we can go back to, uh, to Pelinal. I'm hoping so. We'll see. I think what I need to do is just keep my, la my desktop open forever, basically. I guess, like, my case, over, like, can overheat my stuff. So, I'll probably just... I'll just see how it goes if I just leave it open. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway. Alright, so we have all the Crusader relics now. Um... Welcomed me. She is tasked me of speaking to Polina and restore the. Okay, let's. What now? It is unwise to upset a demigod. For real, I agree with that. You want to repair my armor and weapons after they've been buried in the ground for a few thousand years and then burned by magic fire? One hundred percent. I hope you have plenty of time. I do. I have all the time the in the world. The technology to repair them won't be available for a few thousand years. What? And even if you found a way to repair them, these armor and weapons were blessed by the eight, and they only bother with a worthy hero. Oh like man, me. I I wanted to like you, Pelinal, but you're kind of a dick. <laughs> If you can somehow repair the relics and are deluded enough to try talking to the gods, then be my guest. You got it, buddy. You'll find the shrine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kurtz, I don't leave my computer on. West of Sard. I've never and left my computer on. To your heart's content. This is oblivion. But I can tell you now that they are not fond of silly little mortals with delusions of grandeur. Don't blame me if they ignore you, or worse, strike you down with a bolt of lightning for your belligerence. Uh, yeah, sure. It's the guy, it's the game with the sketchy dude. <laughs> hmm. That isn't even a, uh, isn't even playing a pivotal role in this story. <laughs> Um, this is, this is Skyrim 4, this is Skyrim 4, you said, you asked if it was another Skyrim game, it's Skyrim 4. Uh, let's talk to her. Greetings, Lord Crusader. Hi. You are in possession of all eight of the Crusader's relics. That's me. Yet, they are damaged beyond use, and are tainted by Daedric magic. 100%. You must seek the aid of both Mori House and Pelinor to ensure they are repaired and reconsecrated. May the eight guide your way. Well, Pelinor wasn't helping, so maybe this guy will help me. Lord Crusader. What up, dude? Pelinor is always boasting that his armor and weapons are from the future and can't be recreated. Yet I know that he traveled extensively with a talented He's not the big bad. Vulcan, who maintained his armor. He's not even... No. It will be no. worth your while to talk to him. 
As for reconsecrating them, you'll have to ask Pelinol about that. Valcanus. He wants to stay far away from adventuring nowadays. But last I heard, he had settled down in Cersen. He'll probably send you on a quest for some exotic raw materials first before he'll help. Well, that's some foreshadowing. He's a minotaur. He doesn't need a neck. Farewell, Lord Crusader. Minotaurs don't need necks. Uh, a blacksmith called Val Valcanus, living in Cersen, who may have the means to repair the Crusader's relic. Yeah. All right. Easy enough. Thank you, sir. Very much. Uh, yeah. So. We're, uh. So basically, this is a mod in Oblivion that takes place like years and years and years before the games. Essentially. It's kind of cool. Um, so we need to go to... Where now? Ah, Searson. Just that way. Alright, well, uh, I can do that. Make our way there now. So we're gonna do some traveling. How's everybody's day going? How's the stream looking? I'm hoping to have little to no issues for the rest of the night. I'm already gonna have to edit this and put some things together. <laughs> so. Okay, this is incorrect. Oh, so this would be where... Interesting. This is where the big bridge is in the original game. The big bridge. Pretty cool. Alright. Um, let's keep moving. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with how this mod works so far. Story's cool. <laughs> We're sent into the f past, basically. I'm going to be doing that lurking. lurking. So I'm going to go lurker for a bit. Lurking. I think I got overheated in the hot tub, but now my ears are ringing. Oh, no. Okay, Kurtz. Ha well, feel better. I hope you feel better. Thank you for the lurk. All right. So we're heading north. What's there to the north? Oh, we got boars. Squee. Squee. Actually, I'll take that because I might need it later. I just don't want to disappear. I appreciate that. I draw from the power. Give me the power.
One thing I definitely want to see, I want to see how they handled Tor. Because this is the eventual Sanker Tor, which will, will then be... Uh, there's going to be some content that we'll be doing in Sanker Tor as well. I got some really cool mods that I'm hoping will be fun to watch, fun to play. Okay, this guy's got some different colors. Oh, wait, no, he's just different. Okay. Hey. Hey. Got him. All right. The one thing, like, so far that I kind of would have liked to see is... Because these guys are, like, in a war, right? So it would be cool to see, like... Some guards posted outside, some people outside of the cities. Like, little immersion things, you know? Immerse me into your world, mod. I I hope I I'm sure if, at some point we'll be able to go to White Gold Tower and uh, see it in its in its original form up close and personal. Oh, here's a Minotaur, bro. I wonder if he's a good one. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? Bad guy. Ow. Rude. Okay, we're almost- we're almost at our destination here. Can't go that way. Why can't I go that way? Um, interesting. I wonder if I have to turn off borders, which I think is really easy to do, but kind of strange. Ow. Okay. Now you're just going to wail on me. That's fine. That's fine. He's gonna have a whale of a time. So can I not go north? I don't understand. Hmm. I might have to fix that. Can I even go here? Okay, I can at least. Alright. Maybe it just doesn't want me to go too far outside of the bounds of where I'm supposed to go. Maybe it'll allow me to go... I don't know, we'll see. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, let's save it up. We got some storyline here. Indrusu Salas. Welcome. Feel free to browse through my wares. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest? This is the first person that I could have sell to. I might sell some stuff to her cuz I don't have any room. You drive a hard bargain. I really don't care about money, really, though. You drive a hard bargain. That's a good deal. Or speed. 
Blister Pod, Restore Magicka, we need that. Paralysis, keeping it. Heart of Lord, I don't know if I want to keep those or not. Alright. Insight. Cure disease. Separation, don't need it. That's a good deal. Restore magicka, okay. Chameleon. Don't That's need it. Alright, well I can do the half, I guess. Make me a better I got you, I can do that. This person only has 50 gold? What the hell? <laughs> That's more than I That's a little low there, mod. It's okay, I'm gonna get my mercantile up uh, doing the cheat the cheat way, I guess. So one thing at a time. That seems a fit. Whoops. 50 gold, dude. That seems a fit. You got a great deal there. You got a great deal. That's more than I you've made a good Okay. Cool. Have a little more space now. This is good. Thank you for You're welcome. Goodbye, Sir Knight. No, I thought that was gonna be uh the person I need to talk to, but it wasn't. It was I was a fool. Um This is also not where I need to be. Oh, here we go. Okay. Goodbye, Volcanus. Welcome to Sirkin. I am Master Blacksmith Vulcanus, creator of the finest farm implements in Sirod. That's me, Vulcanus, the Master Blacksmith. I create the finest farming implements in Sirod. Nice. I used to be an adventurer, but there's already enough strife in the world without me adding to it. I thought he was going to say something else. So I've retired from creating weapons and armor, and instead I specialize in tools that help things to grow. You want me to reforge your weapons and armor? Yup. You must be mistaken, my friend. I gave up the adventuring life long ago. You don't have no to adventure. Create instruments of war. Well, you can do it. I believe in you. Helenol's weapons and armor? By the eight, they are Pelinel's equipment. They're supposed to be indestructible. What have you done to them? It wasn't me, dog. And just as importantly, how did you get them off Pelinel? Tell him the story. <laughs> so, you say you obtained these from the future? Times are strange indeed. Yep, I'm from the Jenny future. <laughs> travelers from the future roaming the land. The technology to make Titanite alloy won't be discovered for another few thousand years, or so Pelinal says. As a time traveler, he knew the secrets of Titanite alloy and taught me how to maintain his equipment. And that's why you know how to do the Believe thing. Believe it or not, Titanite alloy is actually a type of steel. Very pure iron and carbon alloyed together with Titanite. Iron. He treated in a certain way, it becomes one of the toughest alloys known. Stronger than even Daedric Ebony. The hardest part of making this alloy is obtaining the Titanite, of course. And how dost thou doest that? That's the problem. It doesn't exist naturally. The only place it's been found is within the meteorites that the gods hurl down from the heavens. Since I haven't worked on Titanite Alloy in a while, and I know the site of a meteorite strike nearby, I'll make a deal with you. I'll reforge Pelinol's gear for you if you bring me 30 pounds of Titanite crystals. But before you agree, there's a couple of catches. What's the catch? The first catch is that the meteorite site is deep underwater, 
and the few who dared investigate it never returned from I've got a pro I got that unlock there were reports of one Argonian who claimed to return alive he said he was attacked by living crystal and barely escaped with his life all right whether his stories are true or just the ramblings of a maddened lizard you'll need water breathing equipment and a light source as well easy Tamira the Enchanter over there may have some items that you'll find useful. Titanite is a very hard and tough mineral. Only diamond is hard enough to scratch it. I have a diamond-tipped hammer here if you want to buy it. Oh, hell yeah. Gold. I got that. No returns if you buy it, though. Oh, <laughs> Sell me the di yeah. That will be for- Yep, you're welcome. I'll obtain it. That's very brave of you. You'll find the site of Easy. The right I have a the water I have a water breathing place. ring or an amulet or something. Remember to collect 30 pounds. 20 will be used to reforge your equipment, and I'll keep 10 pounds as payment. Cool. You got it. You'll need to bring me 30 pounds of titanite crystal if you want me to reforge Pelinol's weapons and armor. Farewell, sir knight. Alrighty. Hi. Goodbye, Sir Knight. Um, he said there was an enchanter somewhere about. Uh, you're not wearing clothes. Welcome. Feel free to browse through my wares. Uh, okay. <laughs> interesting, uh, interesting, to say the least. Uh, let's see. Oh, ah, see this Aeliad helmet of the gills. Night eye, water breathing. All right. Let's get to know each other. That she doesn't have little quips. Boo. Make clip. Make little quips. That's a fine trend. Oh. Oh, you do me too much honor. Oh. That's just not funny. <laughs> I gotta do it myself, I guess. Not now, not later. Not ever. Uh, she doesn't like jokes, bro. She does not like those jokes. That was pretty good. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's turn up the let's turn up the. See if she'll buy for this much. Offer refuse. Sixty-five. I'll take it. Better Aeliad helmet. Perfect. Of gills. Goodbye, Sunlight. Whoa. Welcome. All right. Does she have anything else of value? She literally had the one thing that could help me. And then a bunch of potions. Sus. I'll take that lockpick, though. Um, uh, you know, I'm going to get rid of the shield. I don't think I need it on me at the moment. Uh, went through all that already. Let's get rid of this stuff. Because I can actually sell things to her. Okay. Cool. Cool. Goodbye, Sir Knight. Actually, okay. wait. Does she have spells? Giant leap. Restore all attributes. Okay, this stuff looks kind of like it might be... Draw mana? 
Is this a spell that restores magicka? Yeah, dude, Faith, thanks for coming back, man. Yeah, we're doing okay. Goodbye. We're doing okay, man. Looks like the... It's decent in terms of drop frames, and we haven't had a crash, so... Computer decided to crash twice, and... You know, it's always a good time. But we're back. We back. So, I'm gonna make five this. Four is heal superior wounds. Perfect. So, if I just do this. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's the, uh, a slow mana regeneration. I actually spend a lot of mana doing it. So, there's that. Until I need this helmet, though, I am actually going to switch that off so that it looks a little better. So this is like a little bar, tavern type place. Like a, like a, it's almost like a, uh, like a marketplace. It's kind of cool. Goodbye, Sir Knight. Goodbye, Sir Knight. Mm -hmm. -do 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 -do. All right, so we need to go down, down, down. There's another alien well here. I appreciate you asking, Fate. We're doing all right, man. Just had to. Just had to. Uh, Growth, you know, got to go through some adversity. Nobody got anywhere without a struggle, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we got to go into the into the water here. Possibly fight a mud crab. More, more, more than likely. All right, here we go. I think this is where I need to be. Yep. Meteorite site. Okay. It's kind of dark. Um, what I'm actually going to do is put on the... I have these... I have boots that... Uh, these guys that emit some light. Uh, but not a lot of light, apparently. What time of the day is it? 6.40 p.m. Perfect for swimming. Oh! I found the side of the meteorite strike. It looks like the meteorite has punched a deep fissure into the bedrock. Okay. Meteorite fissure. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the interior of the fissure is uncomfortably hot. In addition to light and a means of breathing underwater, I should be wary of heat exhaustion. Alrighty. I'm, I'm doing okay here. I got some, got some stuff here. I got healing. Whoa. Giant Titanite crystal should provide more than enough for Volcanus to reforge the Crusader's relics with the diamond tipped hammer. I should be able to chip off several large pieces. You sense a sudden movement. Hammering the giant crystal has awoken something in the depths. Cool. Fight me. Fight me. Oh my gosh. It's just a big ball of energy. 
Just swing for the fences. Large Titanite crystal. Seven pounds. I could probably just pick up these little bits. Little bits. The Rick and Morty reference. Uh, we need 30 pounds of this stuff. Hello. Okay, he floated. He be floating. I think that's the first, like, custom creature we've dealt with. Um, yeah, so I'm noticing that... Getting a little thin here. I can't get that piece. Get that. See if I can move this crystal dude out of the way, because there's a couple pieces right here. 23. Alright, so we're going to have to hammer. Cracks appear on the surface of the crystal. I've obtained 30 pounds. Should return. You have managed to break off a large piece of titanite crystal. The diamond tipped hammer is showing a signs of wear from striking such a hard surface. All right. Um, I believe, yeah, here we go. That was interesting. Um, and it's dark out. Oh, yeah. That night eye. Okay. We did it, you guys. M mud crab time. Where are you at, mud crab? Lies. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, yeet. Okay, so now we're going to go back to Searson and talk to homie. Talk to the homie. See if he can't hook us up. Um, I'm going to switch to the boots, too, because I don't need those right now. The boots did help, though. Goodbye, Sir Knight. Goodbye, Sir Knight. Have you found any Titanite? Oh, have I? You found 30 pounds of Titanite? You are truly an adventurer worthy of inheriting Pelinal's weapons and armor. Let At least you see that. You are ready to reforge Pelinal's equipment. I'll need them for a day or two while I work on them. Do it. You're ready? Let's begin by finding out how you would like the weapons and armor reforged. Ooh! Now, would you like the armor reforged as light or heavy armor? Light. And, would you like me to polish them so that they are bright and shiny, or leave them with their antique appearance? Antique. I don't like the polish. So, Look. let's recap. You would like me to reforge the armor as light armor, but keep their antique appearance. Is that correct? That is correct. Excellent. I'll just take the Titanite and Pelinal's gear off you then. Return in a few days and the weapons and armor will Whoa, be ready for you to Whoa, okay, pick up. so he started by saying one day, two days. Return in a few days now? Come on now. Give me a definitive day. Tell me what I need to know. All right, all the armor is being removed from my inventory. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yep, all that stuff removed. All that little stuff removed. Okay. So what's the quest say here? I can wait here or explore Sarad in the meantime. 
That'd be kind of cool to do, I suppose. I could do that. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have much else to to do. I don't know. Good evening. Let's explore. Why not? Let's explore stuff. Uh, what time of the day is it though? Because I bet it's night time. Right. So. Might as well use this cool new helmet that we have. Um. So I'm kind of sensing that either these areas I can't go to, or um. I just needed to turn off boundaries, but it didn't the quest or the, you know, the, the, the mod didn't say anything about turning off, uh, boundaries. So I think it's weird that I can't go north, but we'll just explore and see what happens. Maybe we can't go to all the places. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not uh, that as robust as I thought it was. And the, the other thing was that the, uh, the area that the, ba the, the, the boundary was located was a little strange as well. But anyway, yeah, this is a big giant mushroom. Karen Bolle. Big old mushroom. So then what I'm gathering is that most of this DLC kind of hangs out right here. At least that's what it seems to me. So it hangs in the center, but you can't really go out past that. But I could be wrong. There's a cave over here somewhere. Uh, what's that? That looks like a will o' the wisp. Go check out that will o' the wisp. Sideways cave. Yeah, that's a will o' the wisp. Uh, is he friendly though? Not friendly. Give me your magic. Give me your magic. Sideways cave is here. Needs a key. All right. Well, we've explored that, at least. See what this place is. This is Vilvirin. Now this is my understanding. Let's see. Where do you start? I for I'm trying to remember where you. I think you come out of here. This landmass is a little different. Um. This is, oh, I see, because the, the water is, uh, lower, I just noticed. The water has risen, because in vanilla, that's where the Imperial, uh, whatchamacallit is, it's right here. This is where the Imperial, I forgot you were coming back, I missed an hour, nah, it's okay. I appreciate you coming back, dude. Welcome back. I was just explaining that uh, this is right where you start in the game. Only the difference is that the water level is lower. And they've obviously, you know, they chipped away at this rock. But this is where you start your the game. In vanilla. I didn't think it was possible to copy landscape. I don't know how they did this. They must have... 
Well, what I figure is they probably took the available landscape and then removed things. You know what I mean? Like, they just took what was in the overworld already. I feel like that would have been easier than recreating everything. Is just take what's there and edit it from there. I don't think they did it from scratch. I would be very surprised if they did it from scratch. What they probably did, so like, my limited knowledge of, uh, my no limited knowledge of the construction set, because I did mess around with it when I was, you know, a teenager, is, you know, you had the base... The base game, the base ESM or the base ESP, whatever. And then, like, you could literally copy that. I thought you could just, like, straight up copy it. Like, you know, just duplicate and then you can edit from there okay so this yeah so so this is like a square it's a square space and so you can't even this is the boundary of the mod but it looks like you could still go there if you turned off you turned off uh, boundaries. Okay. Yeah, they must have copied the overworld and then just deleted the stuff. And I'm sure they did some terraforming because, like I was just saying, like this, I noticed that this is. Uh, different because I think in the base game, um, Vilverin is underwater or like partially underwater, so they lowered the water level and they've done some things to change the landscape a bit, uh, because you know it's three eras prior, many 4,000 years in the past. Um, but like, I don't know if, if I were, if I were modding this game, oh, uh, there's a runtime error. Yep. Okay. I didn't, I didn't do a whole lot anyway. I was just exploring. Um, yeah, but I, yeah, I would say the, the fastest way to, uh, the fastest way, the most, uh, efficient way to uh to make that happen would be to uh just take what's there and then just delete stuff like get rid of pull stuff out you know the things that uh were there prior you know and then just edit from there yeah the game just freaked out so 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 give me a second while I re, re, uh, reset here. How's everybody doing? I appreciate everyone who's here. We had kind of a bad start to the, uh, to the stream. Um, but, uh, we're uh we're back in the flow. Oh yeah, I'm sh uh, definitely a shit ton of work. Definitely a shit ton of work. But I mean 
I would I would think that that particular way of doing it would be a lot faster than going like starting from scratch. There's no way they, they there's no way they started from scratch. All right, so we're just going to fast travel on over Red Rover. It says I can explore, but there's I mean, we're basically working with like a square, you know, that's like this. Like, yeah, you can like there's these little pieces. Can't go to Miss Karkin. That would have been cool to go to. Come on, mod messing around all right well we'll just uh i guess we'll just chill out here and uh this keeps happening okay uh we're gonna rest for a couple days i suppose a few days a day a few days Some range. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, three days. Okay, you got it, buddy. Okay. Yep. Volcanus should have finished reforging Crusader's relics. I should go and see him now. Wonderful. Welcome back. Yes, I have reforged the Crusader's relics, and physically they are as good as new. All you need to do is re enchant them, and they'll be better than they were before. Hell yeah. You'll find them on the armor stand over there, so please go ahead and try them on now. I hope they serve you well for years to come, and if they ever need repair, just place them back on the stand and I'll look after them for you. Hell yeah. Farewell, Sir Knight. Appreciate that, dude. Goodbye, Sir Knight. Yeah. Take all. I am over encumbered. All good. Okay, so we have our uh, Crusader regalia back. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, utilize all that good stuff. Shield of the Crusader. I am going to get rid of the swap. Yeah, I don't need that. I am not over encumbered anymore. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we're, we're rocking it. Oh, we need the gloves. There we go. We're we got that holy aura now. We rocking the holy aura. Okay, so now, uh, now where to? Uh, but their blessings are still tainted. I should read to the shrine of the eight. Oh, head to the shrine of the eight, which Polenial said was hidden behind a waterfall west of Sard. Residual enchantment. I mean, it's probably better. Better than what I was wearing before. I am going to put on this helmet as we move forward here. Well, actually, it really doesn't matter, actually. Uh, where's the helm? I'll just put it back on. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we're going to Sard. So we'll just go to Vendasil. Whoa, what? Oh, bring it on, bitch. I just one-shot your ass. 
Ding, ding, ling, ling, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh, man. I just one shot your ass. All right, let's go. We got attacked, but we're still alive. So we're going to go this way now. And this road goes underwater for some reason. I will say that there are some areas that's like... They probably could have put a bridge there or something. Instead of just... Like, some, some of the things... Looks like they just, like, deleted the bridge that was there. And they didn't, like, raise this up. Or, like, put any sort of other... Like... They left it the way that they they left the land the way it was supposed to be, but still had roads. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't want to be critical. I don't want to be too critical anyway. So far the mod's been really cool. I really like the fact that I've been able to you know, be in the world when it was first created almost. 200 years after it was created in the first era. Now, this has definitely been jacked with. And then it's like, there's a road. So there was a bridge here. But they just put a giant stone there. Guess the aliens didn't know how to build bridges. They could build amazing monuments and stone structures but bridges were well a bridge too far i've reached sard i should look in the area to the west for a waterfall where the shrine of the eight should be located west okay so. west of sard is this is an alien well Um, okay. Do, do. Can I go into Sard? Is that a thing that I can do? Or is it, do I need a key? Yeah. Very hard lock. Okay, okay. There's some caves around here. Ah, waterfall. Charcoal cave. Can I go in here? <gasps> I can go in there. Exploration. So it said... Is behind a waterfall, so I'm guessing it's probably at the bottom behind the waterfall. If I had to guess. Waterfall cave. Waterfall cave. Is what they called it. Shrine of the Eight. Okay. By the eight divines. Oh. Get out the old torch. I will say that the dungeons for this this uh ha have been very cool. This must be the shrine. Talking about perhaps I can commune with the gods I to reconsecrate the crusaders relics here. There's a fucking deer in here. Well, there's a family of deer. All right, well we're just going to just be cool, deer. Just be cool. Uh, 
That was interesting. You found all those pieces? Uh, you mean all the, p the pieces of the... of the armor? Can I... Okay, so I can't just... Maybe I just need to talk... So these are all the the divines. By the eight divine. All right, let's uh, commune with the gods. What? Continue your penance to earn the gods' forgiveness. I have one infamy. Because I accidentally, like, hit somebody once or something. Oh. Spoke to a reprimand from the gods, just like the shrines in Cyrodo, but it did not have any effect. Placing the relics on the shrine would... Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's get naked. Whoops. I just realized I probably need the, uh... I probably need the mace, too. Uh... Which means I'm gonna have to... Uh, Shield of the Crusader? Yeah. Place all relics. Yeah. Okay, fuck. I have to- okay. I have to go back then. That's okay. At least it's not that hard to- So, we need the mace as well, <laughs> or else this isn't going to work. Yeah, it took a bit of, I, I totally missed the, how, the, the, the curious that they set at the beginning when you first get in here. And then it kind of triggers all the other relics to find all the pieces and stuff. But I had to look it up because I wasn't having any luck. Waterfall cave. All right. Place all relics. Praying to the shrine did not have any effect. Perhaps I need to place all eight of them on the shrine to make... I did that. Okay, I'll take all. Oh, I see what I need to do. I have to do this... the way it wants me to do it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like all fancy. Okay. I heard uh I'm down. Oh lord. Um why do I always find myself in these situations, bro? Uh oh shit. Um hey. What's up, dude? <laughs> Who are you? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Um, I have nothing. <laughs> yeah, so did I, but then they're like, no, they weren't destroyed. They were just spread. They were just spread out. Did you not finish this, Davidian? <sighs> oh my god. Alright, so... Am I supposed to just, like, take this? Bring it on, bro. I'll punch you to death. My hand-to-hand -hand skills off the charts. Really? Oh! Umaril? Take that. Bro, I'm having this this thing needs to get deaded. I can't use magic either. I'm like completely screwed. I think I broke it. <laughs> oh god. I'm having some vision. Whoa, that's me! That's me. I'm fighting me. F you. Dude, this is kind of trippy. He's gonna punch me to death. Yeah, I got him. Got him. Anybody else? Oh! I, I defeated my innermost demons just now. The aid has set for me. The Crusader's relics have been reconsecrated and their enchantments restored. Now that I have restored the Crusader's, I should return to Queen Alessia to see what task she has for me. How am I over encumbered? I don't. Okay. Uh, take all. Yeah. All right. Uh, why do I have? Why do I have less strength? Oh, because I, maybe I have some kind of. Um. No, no. Okay, that's weird. I shouldn't have. Oh, I know why. Because it took all my stuff off. And I have this and the perfection ring and the forge master ring, which gives me strength. Um, and then the crusader relics. Okay, so we got boots, curious, gauntlets, greaves, helm, and the shields. Kablamo. I played it all, it's just a dumb thing. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm a little... Uh, I'm, I'm confused how you got further without the, the relics. <laughs> Seems like a very, per very important part of the story. Um, do I have, like, a, a ring of feather or something? Let's see. Feather I have the feather shoes. But do I have, like, a... Oh, here we go. Base ring of feather. Perfect. Perfect. All right. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I don't... Whoa, okay, yeah. So now I need to go back to Fanacaskill. 
I found them. I just thought it was dumb that they said they had to be destroyed to travel through time, and they weren't. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, well, that could have... If... Okay, I don't remember who said that. But if Gareth was the one that said that, then he was probably just lying. To get them. I don't know. Well, you no, know, Gareth was lying about making them more powerful. I don't know. Yeah, that is kind of a dumb thing. There's a few th little things in this. You're back. I'm back. Queen Lacia and the others are waiting for you. They're about to hold a secret meeting. And you're part of it. Oh, a secret. Well, not so secret, because uh, I know about it. What's the meeting about? They didn't say. But I think they're planning the fall of White Gold Tower. Hell yeah. Just imagine. You'll be part of the most famous event in First Era history. Yay. You better go in before they get impatient. You got it. It's about to go down. We're having a meeting. What's up? Whoa, who dis? Now that we are all here, let us begin. Unprecedented in history is the gathering of four heroes in one location. Four yep. individuals blessed with the ability to alter their destiny. I've summoned you all here today for a mission of utmost importance. With each passing day, our armies liberate another part of Cyrilia. And the time has finally come for us to strike at the heart of alien power. As you are all aware, the Tower of White Gold is protected by a magical barrier that neither our armies nor our magic can penetrate. Our spies have revealed that this spirit barrier is powered by Daedric Furnaces, located in four uncaptured alien settlements. These are... Wendir, to our northwest. Elenglin, to the west. Nenyond Twill, south of us. And Kemen, eastern Sirud's lost and captured settlement. Our best course of action is to destroy these Daedric... So Furnaces we can go to these... Places. Yeah, it's the Simpsons movie. <laughs> All the furnaces must be destroyed. If any remain functional, the spirit barrier may remain intact, hindering our capture. Or maybe it's going to be like, oh, well, you four need to go our separate. Army is for the final assault on the Tower of White Gold. Dividing them amongst isolated targets would compromise our end goal. Oh, okay, never Therefore, mind. The task of destroying these targets falls to the four of you. Helena White Strike, the Star Made Knight will be well known to you all. He will assault the most heavily guarded of the four targets, Kemen. Got it. Mori House, the first breath of man, also needs no introduction. He will destroy the Windier Furnaces before returning here to lead the final assault. Also joining us here today is Ungird the Outlaw, son of Harold Hanfree and hero of Skyrim. Hell yeah. He will destroy the furnaces at Ilinglin. Finally, the task me. of assaulting Nenyond Twill falls to the Divine Crusader, a time traveler from the Third Era, 4,000 years hence. You may believe it is coincidence, but with four missions and four heroes, I believe it to be the will of the gods. The fall of the Tower of White Gold is an event that we've dreamed of since the beginning of the Rebellion. Your successes today will ensure our victory. Go now, and may the Eight watch and guide you along the way. The Alessian Rebellions plans to capture White Gold Tower. To do so, Spirit Barrier protecting it must be lowered by destroying the Daedric Furnaces. Power the Barrier. I have been tasked with the destruction of the furnace at Ninya Twill. Let's go. The first breath of man. I'll see you when you get back. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, so we have our marching orders. Oh, everybody's going their way. All right, so I gotta go to Ninyad Twill, which is not very far away. So yeah, so they kind of like 
teased it. They're like, oh, you could maybe go over here. Maybe go over there. That's all good. So we'll go here. So that's the closest that we have. And we're going to wait nine hours for how many divines there are. <laughs> we're gonna uh, make our way to Ninyan, Nin, Ninyan Twill. What a name. What a name. Okay, we have arrived. Daedric Furnaces that we have to destroy. See, this is like, okay, I've reached Ninyan 12. I should look for the Daedric Furnace and free any slaves I find along the way. I, don't know. I can do that. Like, there should be some Aeliad guards outside this. Like, you know, they should be guarding this. Outside, I, I should have to fight my way in. Okay. The Divine Crusader. No! Oh! Oh, interesting. Oh my, oh! Oh! How did you live through that? Are you kidding me? How did you, now you should get crunched. How, how? Uh, I guess they didn't hit the spikes. I thought it was big crunch. This looks cool. All right, so we're gonna avoid that like the plague. Go, oh, God! <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that's awful. All right, uh, let's get our torches down here. Reliquary. Okay, yeah, here we go. This is what I was. Oh yeah. Yeah, give me that gold, baby. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to take that. These urns do look cool, though. Try to replace it. <laughs> nope, not happening. I like how glowy they are. Perfect. Lockpick. Oh, wait. Oh, I want that. Ooh, petty soul gems. Okay, I'll take those. I'll take those. Um, I'm going to definitely be wanting to get inside this. Oh, F you. Okay. There we go. Boom. Give me the stuff. I'm taking all these. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Money, money, money. Um, We're going to use... Let's see. Oh, that's... Okay, those don't have anything in them. Might as well just, uh... Okay, that was it. We're still encumbered. Uh, I'll drink a potion. Potion of Saucity. Alright, perfect. I probably won't be I should I probably shouldn't focus too much on on uh 
the, uh, the loot. Because I'm really not... Oh, there's slaves in here. I'm not really interested in the loot. I'm more interested in... Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, very easy. Can I just... Kablamo? Can I just... Let's free some slaves, boy. Please. Help me escape. Oh, yeah. Please. Oh. Free the others. Oh, you got the it, buddy. The ones trapped inside the Daedric furnaces. Oh, my. Horrible machines. They literally burn away the victim's soul in order to power whatever. Oh, this they're doing the. the need power they're doing some Gul'dan shit. Let's destroy them. So they're they using the power of human souls to power the engine. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I don't know how, but oh. I have a hunch. He's got a hunch? I think they might be harmed by electricity, as I saw a slave master get into a lot of trouble for practicing shock spells near the Bro, furnaces. I got Finger of the Mountain, so you know we're doing that. Once they're inside the Daedric Furnace, the cage can't be opened without stopping the machine. Fortunately, I overheard one of the slave masters say that a magic that absorbs souls could cause the machine to stop momentarily. Wait, what was that? Once the Fortunately, I overheard one of the slave masters a say magic that, that a magic absorbs, that absorbs souls. souls could cause the machine to stop momentarily. Okay. The soul is what makes us living beings. Without a soul... We are just breathing lumps of flesh and bone. As their souls are destroyed, the victims start losing awareness of the world around them and soon become blathering idiots. Eventually, they stop responding to anything, and by then, they may as well be dead, since they no longer know how to eat or drink. Please, rescue the slaves. And destroy those horrible Daedric furnaces. Got it, buddy. Ah, uh, damn it. All right, we freed the slaves. Please, free the others. You got it. Uh, I guess I gotta Please. talk to everybody. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're good. All right. They're wor They're wor They're working on it. They're working on learning to be human. Okay, this is an interesting... Uh, yeah, I'm good. Uh, ha. Huh. Okay. Some evil shit going down here. Who that? Oh! Who's this? Slave mistress in- what? Slave mistress? Get over here. Get out of here, dude. Oh, she's got special stuff. Well, I want to check that. I want to check this stuff out. I want to see if it even looks good on a, on a male. <laughs> sure doesn't. <laughs> got it. So that's uh that's part of the that's part of it. I see. Interesting. Not for man. <laughs> that's funny. All right. Uh Where was her stuff? Okay. Uh We can get rid of all this stuff. That's pretty cool though. Happy for. Okay, wait, what what didn't I drop? I didn't drop something.
Oh, um, did I put the curse back on? There we go. Oh, shit. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is that everything? I have everything on? Cool. Funny. All right, so we got, uh, we got some people to kill. Pippity poppity. Get off my property. We'll take that. Skimming? I'll take that. Why not? Oh, I'm overburdened from that. All right. Is there gold in that? Oh, that's root. Some root. What's this? Oh. So these are like bedrooms, dude. That's cool. And apparently they have their own, like, rock planter. Staff of telekinesis. Black soul gem. That's, that's good to have. I'll take that. Okay. So I did. I did. Uh, that's kind of cool. They these were rooms or little apartments. It's important to to read, you guys. Uh, I did not want that open book. I'm gonna put this back where it was. That's kind of a cool little thing, though. Learning about Wilkinstones, even though you created them. Um. Okay, so we gotta go in the center here. We killed the slave master. Barla stone. Valar stone. Okay. There doesn't seem to be a switch, but I can do this. Haha! -ha! Eat shit, bitch. Shock damage spell caused the Daedric Furnace to overload and explode, though unfortunate victims that were still in the machine were killed. For the other three, the mission will be complete. Okay, well, hold the phone. Um... Let's see if we can try to save the survivors. Can I open these cages while the machine is still running? How do I save them... ...without it exploding? It said a, a soul spell. Do I have a soul? I can't remember if I have one or not. Let's find out here. Like a soul trap ability. Yeah, I have soul trap. That could be something. Oh, that's not really what I wanted to do. I didn't want to, I didn't mean to soul trap him. What if I did this? What does this do? Oh, uh, that opens the Varla Stone. Okay, whatever. Sorry, bud. 
I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help you. He said something about a soul trap spell. Soul trap spell may temporarily stop a Daedric Furnace from running. Yeah, I tried that. It wasn't working. All right, we'll try it on the other two. That was a lost cause, apparently. So I do have a soul trap spell. Let's try it. Let's try that over here. Uh, might need magic, though. We're gonna do... Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Restore magicka. Perfect. Okay, soul trap. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, get out of here. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Aha, I see. Okay. No. No response. Get out. Oh, I see. So their souls have left them forever. So I, they can't be saved. Presumably. Okay. They're just sticking to the plan. Yep, all right. Time to zap. All right. I've destroyed the Daedric Furnace. I should now head back to Queen Alessia. Um, I don't need Varla Stones. All right, well, we saved a few people. That's something. That's something, I suppose. Uh, we want to go this way. Oh yeah, this was two-pronged. Had a few levels, had a few different levels. Oh, there's people in here, dude. I even see those cages. Okay. Whoa, hey, okay. Everything's good. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Please don't die. Thank you. They were smart. They were smarter than me. How do I get in here? Is there a button? I don't see a button. There is some there's something on the other side of this, but I can't uh can't get to it. I don't see a switch anywhere. Whoa. Alright. We're just gonna peace out. Okay. So we finished that. We're gonna go back to Fana Castle. And talk to the people.
Be like, I did it. I did the thing that you said for me to do. Hi. Palinor has stormed off to White Gold Tower, exactly as the legend said he would. Alicia wants to see you urgently. I'm sure it's about Palinor. He done stormed off. 